Hello and welcome back to another video and today I'm showing you a Callaway driver and Fairywood tip adapter hack. It's really simple, it's really quick and what this allows you to do is adjust your driver in more ways than you would get just off of the rack. The only thing you're going to need though is a tip for the opposite hand that you are. So if you're right-handed, you're gonna need a left-handed tip. If you're left-handed, you're gonna need a right-handed tip. Now there's a reason I wanna show you this because I was trying to solve a problem. I didn't wanna to have to go through the process of, say, trying to find a tour issue tip or a uh, tour only tip. And the reason they have those is for tour players, they or players of higher skill, or wherever you find these things, uh, what they allow them is more adjustability. Because the off the rack, uh, Callaway driver tip offers three degrees of adjustability, but it's two degrees up and one degree down. And this works great, three degrees, right? Most OEMs either have between three and four degrees of adjustability. Some offer it on equal sides of the, the loft, so you get two up or two down, or one and a half up, one and a half down. But with Callaway, you get two up and one down. But let's say you have a nine degree driver and you want to loft it down to seven. Like I said, there are tour issue versions of this that allow players to do this. You can see it on golfjacks.com. They have uh, Francesco Molinari's driver has like a minus two degree tip. So he's taking his nine degree down to seven. But to get those things, it's hard. Those parts are not easy to get. Uh, and if you're just trying to lower your launch and lower spin a little bit, this is a quick, easy way to do it. So what I have is a right-handed Callaway driver tip. All you have to do is change out the top ring that goes from plus two to minus one with a right from a right-handed tip from a left-handed tip. And here's how you do it. Obviously, these things don't wanna come apart very easily. If they were and you're at retail, you're out of the golf course and you're trying to adjust your driver and the bottom thing falls off and you gotta try and find in the grass, it's not very convenient. So they don't design these things to come off that easily, but they're actually pretty easy to take off when you know how to do it. Uh, you don't want to use pliers, you don't want to use anything that's metal on metal, you don't want to scratch it, you don't have to scratch it. All you have to do is pop it off with a little bit of extra force and it's really simple. Take a grip, old grip lying around the shop, it's cut, it's already been sliced, it was on a golf club at one point. And if you ever need to grab something, this is a quick, cool, easy way to do it. Put it on, it's over the tip, and just crank it. There it goes. All right, simple. So now I have the two cogs from the Callaway driver tip and they're off. Now this is a right-handed tip going back onto a right-handed tip. If you, if you have to, if you want, if you're doing the swap, you're gonna have to do it twice, but I mean, that's pretty easy to go through the process. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is the bottom one, you can always tell the bottom one versus the top one because it goes on first and it goes on easy. See that? Slid right on, no problem. But to keep the driver's tip from falling apart and having you lose all those little pieces, the second one does not go on quite as easily as you can see. Now there's a couple ways to do it. You can, again, try and force it on. You can use the golf grip, but you don't want to be pushing and, and creating some extra force that you don't really need. So all you do is you take that driver tip that's not quite going on yet, you use your driver, head, or fairywood head, it works with fairy woods too. Uh, lock it in, give it a little tap, boom, done. There you go, it's on, it's one piece again, and now if you're adjusting your driver, it's gonna look weird, right? It's gonna say plus two, but because you're using the opposite hand, it's actually going to be minus two. And the reason you can differentiate that is on the right-handed drivers that those rings have little underlines underneath them. So that means it's for a left-handed driver, it's a left-handed tip. And for the ones that are the right-handed tips, they don't have anything underneath them. So if you're switching them out, it's easy to tell. And this way, you can take your nine degree driver and loft it down to 10 and a half degree driver, loft it down to eight and a half, and it offers you more adjustability without doing too much work. It was that simple, it took me less than five minutes. So if you have questions, please use the comment section. If you like the video, hit the old thumbs up or subscribe. If you have questions about this or you're curious and you need a little bit more explanation, just use the comment section. I'll do my best to reply as soon as possible. And as always, thanks so much for watching.